when did you know that you would become an artist? I mean, I never questioned this. It just happens, and it's still something I'm more or less exploring and I'm trying to figure out about myself, basically. But um, I want, like, I feel like it was never a real question to me. It just happened, you know. What is your favorite medium to work with and why? Well, to be honest, I really love working with language um, because for me that has a very, I don't know, like, it has a st strong impact. It's many times the first thing that comes into my mind, like a word or like a set of words, or I'm, I don't know, I, I stumble upon something I see written on the street. And that's many times the starting point of many of my works. And it has such a very, let's say, strong position in my practice. So even if I do other stuff like photography or drawing or I do like some kind of intervention in the public space, whatever that is, um, most of the times it has um, its starting point from language. If you were stranded on an island and you had to choose one object to keep with you, what would it be? Well, that's a, that's a very easy one. I would definitely want to have my phone with me. Um, actually, I have this um, concept which I was developing some time ago, which is called an artist-run phone. Uh, and I see the phone, besides being a tool, I also see it as a space. Um, and for me, it's, it's a very present thing uh, in my daily life, in my personal life, but then also in my um, artist practice. And as well, I feel like it's something that makes the like this kind of bridge between personal life and artist practice. So definitely I couldn't go, like, I think nowhere, be it a, like a stranded island or be it anywhere else, I couldn't go without my phone. Do you think art is more about feeling or thinking? Um, yeah, I mean, I just know in my case it's mostly about intuition. I never plan anything and somehow that's how I'm working, uh, basically. So then I think it would relate more to this idea of feeling, um, and especially for me, intuition. What's the biggest satisfaction you've had in your career so far? Well, let's see, I'm still waiting for this, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still a very young artist in that sense, and uh, I think the future will tell this, you know, it's, it's something I also, feel doesn't need to be answered in any way, but rather uh, I'm just here and I, I, I'm waiting for things to happen. Is there a specific point or event in the history of art that inspires you in particular? I mean, first of all, I think that's quite a broad question. And also, I'm not so much interested in specific events which relate so much to the past. I'm more interested in what's happening right now, and especially um, I'm interested in things which happen outside of the art uh, context, actually. I look more to things which, I know, happen in, um, like, in politics or economics or just our da daily lives, basically. That's uh, a much more interesting thing for me to look at rather than art history, so um, it's definitely much more important to me than having a specific moment in time and especially a moment which relates to art. What job would you choose if you weren't an artist? I mean, um, I think it comes back to the question where you asked me uh, when I considered becoming an artist um, and again I would say I never considered doing something else. Um, so I can't really answer to your question in that way. I just let things happen and see where things take me, actually.